Hi, and welcome to another Clever Touch video with me, Gareth, primary school teacher, and my daughter, Tamina, who's having a pyjama day today with her pets, aren't you? Yes, lovely. And um, now, this is another art video, a bit of fun, as we're coming, hopefully, to the end of lockdown. Um, so it's another art video, and we've done one all about drawing bodies, trying to put people in action poses, using uh, sausages and dolls and things like that. But um, this one's all about drawing faces because lots of you don't quite notice the dimensions of faces when you're drawing them. So the best way is to actually study some faces. So here is a rogues gallery of faces. And uh, Tallulah, who have we got here behind us? Okay. Ooh, me and Daddy. That's right, you've got me. And my cousin. That's right, so we've got Tallulah's cousin there. Lots of many faces of Tallulah and just one of me. I was only allowed one. Yeah, we don't need that today. This poor dummy doesn't even have a face, look. So, Tallulah, would you like to pick one of your faces and draw what I'm going to draw to point out to everyone at home um, what you can see on faces? All right, you ready? Okay, you're going to draw on that one then. Pick up your pen, stick end. So, what closely as I look at this face of mine here. So, if I... Um, just do the oval circle of my face. To you can do that to one of your pictures if you want to. Yeah. Um, I think it turned off a little bit. Yes, you can do. So, there's the oval of my face. Now, you'll notice that my eyes are about halfway on the oval of my head. And that's normal. They're not near the top. They're about halfway. Now, wherever you put the eyes, that halfway mark or that line helps to dictate lots of the other things that go on too. So I've got my nose here, okay? So that, that kind of splits about that area in half too. Oh, you're using a different color are you there. Okay, put that off quickly then. Okay, so, oh, you've taken away your whole picture of you. I can bring that back there, just as easy. Just, just stick to the pen. It doesn't matter what color you use to do that, as long as you're using the thick end. There we go, should be that nice orange again now. Right, so my nose kind of helps split up the bottom half of my face there. Of course, there's the line that kind of splits my face in half because most of us have fairly symmetrical faces, never totally symmetrical, understand? But look where my ears are. My ears fit into this space here between where my eyes are and my head and to the bottom of my nose, maybe a bit lower. If you're getting old and your earlobes keep growing. Okay, that's it, Tallulah, perfect. This is Tallulah showing you over there. And those walls really apply to help you do very realistic faces. And then you've got all this forehead space. Lots of forehead space visible on me. So I've got my hair that kind of goes up from the top of my head. Or in Tallulah's case, too, if you come here and turn around, so Tallulah's hair kind of comes down over her forehead, helps to frame her face, make it more realistic. So, we'll show you that in action. So, here's a picture of me, and here's a picture of uh, Tallulah with her uh, deceased hamster, Chompy. Oh, she does miss him, don't you? Now, um, while Tallulah has a little doodle over there, I'm going to show you how we can use uh, these gorgeous features here to uh, build up a, a, a facial image. So I'm just going to start off with a nice oval. Now remember, if you want to do an oval and you're not too sure that you're going to get it right first time, my advice is you start off by sort of putting uh, in the air the kind of shape that you're after a few times, round and round and round. And when you're ready, just start to stick that oval on. But go round three or four times. Don't just do it at once, okay? Because it'll even itself out. Notice I'm using a light colour so that I can go over the top with darker colours, or when I shade in, and then I can do an outline later on. So it doesn't matter too much with the light colour, and I'm going to make mistakes. Now, I don't need to put the line down the middle of my face, I know it's there, but I do want to know where I'm going to put my eyes. So my eyes are going to come... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Thank you. So the... Well, just have a go to do that. So my eyes are about halfway down my face, so there's the line there, that's going to help me do that. And then I've got the other area for my nose there. So it's like I'm uh, turning my face into a, a layered uh, uh, balloon or something. Now, um, I'm now going to put my nose in, 
there. You can see how wide my nose is. Um, and then below that, you can look how close is someone's mouth to their nose. So mine isn't too close, the top of my mouth, the smile. How wide does it go across the face? Okay, so nice chubby cheeks I have, haven't I? Put that line in there. And uh, chubby he, he yes, hamsters definitely have uh, chubby cheeks. Uh, so I've got my eyes there as well. And then of course my ears, which the uh, top of my ears does come where uh, my eyes start to. Okay. So that way I've kind of been building up the main features of my face. Now to be honest, I'm just going to change colour. You can keep, you can keep. Oh, I need black too. Okay, but what I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to make it a little bit thinner so I can show people how I add the, the features in now. So if I want to now start making uh, my face uh, a bit more realistic, obviously... I actually obviously, need a different colour for his eyes because oh. Chunky's head's black. But one thing I don't want on, on, the, on the picture eventually, of course, are these, these lines that I've put across my face. I've got to get rid of those. Uh, that could easily be solved by just colouring in the face, the main colour that you want, before I start putting on detail lines. But uh, I'm just going to show you me adding in uh, the kind of detail straight away. So I've got my eyes here, nice uh, oval shaped eyes, put in circular irises. And now I've got uh, my eyebrows there. Now I'm actually drawing my eyebrows by doing the more, more or less individual uh, hairs of my eyebrows. You want to draw hair? Draw the hairs. That's my big top tip. And um, now I've got quite wrinkled eyes. I don't know why that is. You know, being only 20 years old as I am. Yeah. Still got them. What? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I know. And uh, then I've got this uh, facial hair too. Gorgeous it is. Gorgeous. That's what? You don't need to shave my beard off, do you? <laughs> well, I'll shave mine off if you shave yours off. How about that? I don't have that. You haven't got one? No, because I'm a girl. I think it's just because your face is so grubby. No, because I'm a girl. Yeah, so I've just added in a bit of I'm a girl. definition of my teeth. I'm not doing myself justice here, am I? Um, and then uh, my ears. But then my hair. I'm just going to look at the hairs that I can see on my head. So at the time, this is before lockdown, oh, shaved at the sides and so forth. Um, so there's hardly any hair there. So if I was going to do the side of my head, there, I might just do a little bit of shading and show that the hair that's been shaved uh, there. But really, it's uh, my kind of parting and the hair that goes across my head like that. To the top of my head, looking at make, oh, it, look a, make it look a bit flat, certainly it's flatter than it is now. Yeah, it was pink. Um, yes, it was. Okay. Now you'll notice that I'll get pink then. I do the hairs in the direction that they really are on my head too. It's all just about observing. So yes. if you're a girl uh, with long hair or a boy with long hair, um, and your hair comes down your head like it does on Tallulah's, just do those strands on your head as you're adding your hair on. Yeah. I'm more than chubby. Okay. Oh, no, no. And don't forget, of course, that uh, with long hair, unless you like having it chubby on your face, it kind of uh, comes and trains around your face, doesn't it? I'm and it kind of is behind oh, no, no, no. your chin. Oh, no, no, no. That's your neck there. Okay, you can still there's see your, the rest of your hair there. behind your head. There's chumpy's bit there. That's very good. I like the way you use sausages and things to, to build up the image of chumpy. I oh. tried to. Do you use no sound there, Sue, I want to ask you a question. If I'm going to add the eyes to this picture of you, where did I say the eyes have to go? Are they at the top of the head, the bottom of the head, or the middle of the head? What? And that's the, is that the top, the middle, or the bottom? Middle. They're middle, you were listening, okay, so there we go. So Actually, okay, it's wasn't. <laughs> no, it'd be different. Okay, then. Won't it? be different then, won't it, for different people? There you go. To, you know, if we could see your ears, they'd be hidden there amongst your very uh, messy pyjama day hair, wouldn't it? Yeah? Now, I just want to show you something on this last slide very quickly. Now, what you can do then when you're playing around with faces and messing around with different facial expressions 
is you can also think about the fact that all these faces are created um, using this idea that we've got the line down on our face and this kind of this central line where our eyes go. So what if you wanted to do a character that's looking up? Now this character is here. Things happen that are different on our head with our ears. When I look up, my eyes are up here and my ears drop down, it looks like. And if I'm looking down, my ears are higher than my eyes. And maybe if you're looking at me, you can't see my mouth. So here's two examples of that. So if I've got a character and I want them to be uh, looking up, and I'm, I've kind of got this shape here. If I put, I put the middle of the face in, so I know that this is where their face is pointing. And then if that was the line that the eyes were on, it was making a nice curved line. So the eyes are going to be sitting up just underneath that line there. I can do the nose just like you are now. Thank you for helping me. But the ears would also follow that line, so they would be here. And maybe these ears, because they're very big, you wouldn't see that here. So it's at the end of that line. And then, of course, the mouth would be there, right? And the chin would be there. So this area, this area here could well be all, all the neck. Um, here's, yes, these eyes are closed. And here I've got a character doing the same. So this character, I did the eye line there, and he's looking down. So the nose is coming in, in between the eyes, and maybe this is just a sense of the lips as he's looking down a little bit, his chin, you can't see very much here. If I wanted to do a character that's looking one way instead of another way, side on view, so it's the same sort of thing. So I can see that eye, can't do that eye. Oh no, I'm uh, just drawing this person looking that way to me, but the ears would be on that line too. That looks like a chick. Looks like a chick. Yes, because that beak. Everyone's a critic. That's a beak. Just there. Yeah, that's a beak. Again, very weird chin. Let's turn that into a beard. Yeah. That looks like a beak. Yeah. There they are. Let's give him some very weird, funky hair. That actually looks like a beak. He does it a little bit. Mm. There you go. Lots, lots of people like a, a duck pout, don't they, nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there we go. So. Being able to draw faces then in a cartoon style from looking at real faces really does help. So oh, I hope that's been helpful to you. And uh, I know that Tallulah's artwork is certainly improving now that she's using sausages and looking at the lines and looking at how things really are. So have some fun and it's time to say goodbye. So thank you for watching and learning is crazier and hopefully better with G and T. Bye bye Tallulah. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>